Welcome back to our home learning sessions, students. It was wonderful to see you uh, last weekend. Uh, of course, uh, I'm actually taping this uh, before the entire program begins, but that's just between you and me. Anyway, so this week we are going to be looking at spiritual development theory. Now, prior to this, we've kind of been looking at um, ways in which people hold faith or ways of doing spiritual assessment that kind of assumes a static orientation. This is uh, the way people are. But this week we're going to be looking at how do people grow spiritually? How do they develop? How do they uh, actually mature into, um, uh, into the kind of spiritual beings that, uh, that, that we hope we can become? We're going to be looking at the groundbreaking work of a developmental psychologist by the name of James Fowler. James Fowler, in his book, Faith um, no, oh, Faith Styles is my book, uh, uh, Stages of Faith, um, really kind of rocked the religious world uh, when he brought this out because he presented a, um, uh, a model of spiritual growth that kind of worked across the board that to describe people's faith development um, regardless of what tradition they were coming from. Perfect for our interfaith program. What's interesting is that his map of spiritual growth uh, is remarkably similar to the maps of spiritual growth uh, that specific traditions um, uh, that have emerged from specific traditions. Uh, and it will be, I think, fun for you to take a look at how Fowler's system actually maps to some of the more traditional systems that we're going to be looking at later on in this course. But Fowler's a good place to get grounded and to kind of see this in a uh, psychological or... Um, uh, a spiritual context that is not tied to a specific spiritual tradition. So, I know there's a lot of reading, and I, I apologize for that. And Fowler's, well, not the easiest reading. <clears throat> Nevertheless, it's a graduate program, and I believe in you. Um, and also, we're not going to be reading all of Fowler's book, um, so you're not going to be getting uh, certainly uh, the, 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 first, uh, the first chunk of it, which is an awful lot of um, uh, developmental psychology. Um, in my opinion, a little Piaget goes a long way. Um, but in fact, we're only going to be looking at his description of the six stages, seven stages really if you count stage zero, uh, the six stages of spiritual development um, that you will see. So, let's get started. There's a lot of reading to do. I think you will find this enlightening. I think you will find this profound. I certainly did. It was revolutionary when I first read this back in college. Um, and it, it is my hope that it will help you kind of put your own spiritual journey um, in some perspective. Uh, I found it to be amazingly normalizing, and even if you don't have that same experience, your clients may. So this will be helpful not only for you to perhaps understand your own spiritual journey, but the spiritual journeys of your client, uh, and also to be able to uh, help them understand their own spiritual journey and realize, oh wait, this isn't something weird that's just happening to me. This is something normal that happens to everybody who's really walking a spiritual path in a very serious way. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> 